Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. I am Maheen Farooq and today we will be talking about helminthic infections. So first of all, what are helminthics and how they cause infections? Helminthics are the organisms that are basically uh, commonly known as worms. So they are found worldwide and cause various types of diseases. So they basically, those diseases are known as helminthic infections. In this lecture, we will be talking about some of them. So they will be, first of all, we will be talking about flarial nematodes. They are basically the uh, organisms that leads to different flarial diseases. In this, uh, we will be talking about the organism's characteristics, what it looks like and what its name is and how we divide it morphologically and so many other things. Afterwards, we will be talking about all the diseases that are caused by helminthic infections. So the first one will be lymphatic flariasis. Okay, now lymphatic flariasis, in this we will be talking about that how the disease is caused, which uh, organism is basically causing the diseases. There are so many uh, phylums and genus when we talk about the helminthics. Uh, for its divisions. So the organism specifically that is causing this type of disease will be discussed in this section. Then also we will be talking about the causative organisms, then pathology, pathophysiology, and then finally the sign and symptoms of the disease that is the lymphatic flariasis. Okay, the second disease that we will be talking about is the onchocerciasis. Uh, the same things, the pathology, its pathophysiology, the causative organisms, the properties of causative organisms and what type of infection and which part of body it is basically targeting and then what sign and symptoms are produced as a result of that invasion will be discussed in the onchoceriasis. Then is liosis. Okay, now in this part we will be discussing about uh, the same thing. It is a different disease causing different type of sign and symptoms uh, involving different body parts and how it involves them and then finally what basically occurs inside the body. The, that will include the pathology, the pathophysiology, the morphology of the organism and then finally the same thing, the clinical sign and symptoms of the disease. Okay, then afterwards, uh, this will be the end of the nematode section, the flarial nematodes. Now from here, we will be starting about the or discussing about the intestinal nematodes. Uh, basically, as the word is showing that will target the intestines of the person and there are so many different organisms, different genuses, different phylums that will be involved in this part. So afterwards, we will be discussing about all the diseases that it is causing. So it will be causing, we will be discussing about the ascariasis, uh, the pathology, the pathophysiology, the morphology, the characteristics, the etiology, the epidemiology, and then finally the clinical signs and symptoms of the disease. Then we have trichuriasis. Um, all the same things will be discussed in this as well. Um, we will be discussing about the causative organisms and the most important part that will be the uh, pathophysiology that how the life cycle of the organism works and how it reaches the human body and then what finally happens. Then is the hookworms infection. Uh, we have heard about this so many times. Commonly it infects the children and they are basically the main target of these type of worms. We will be discussing about the life cycle of the worm in the pathophysiology section, in the pathology and morphology. We will be discussing about that how, what are the characteristics of worm basically, what the uh, size of worm is and where it is present and how it is transmitted from the insects or from any type of fly or basically what the transmitting route is uh, to the human beings. Then we have strong hyaloidiasis. The same things will be discussed in this as well. We will be starting with the causative agent moving towards the pathophysiology, pathology, morphology, and then finally the clinical sign and symptoms of the disease. 
and then finally the last disease that we will be discussing in this lecture is the pinworm infection uh, that is also known as enterobiasis we will be discussing about the life cycle of the uh, helminthic or the organism that is causing the disease and also it's uh, all the important aspects that needs to be discussed when we are talking about the pinworm infection so this was all about the introduction and there are so many more lectures that you can find on the website that is cardia.com thanks for watching cardia.com